AGW Road to South Korea coverage is brought to you by your local Toyota dealers. They say time heals everything, but what time doesn't do is wait. It's always pressing forward. And that's what the United States bobsled team must do without legendary driver Steve Holcomb move forward. Back in May, the three-time Olympian died in his sleep at the Olympic Training Center in Lake Placid, New York. He was 37. The hardest thing was that none of us know bobsled without Steve Holcomb. We're never going to forget him, and he's left such a legacy, and he's meant so much to all of us. Um, it's really going to be it's going to be a difficult Olympics. It's going to be a difficult season. There's no way around that. Holcomb piloted the U.S. four-man team nicknamed Night Train to a gold medal at the 2010 Vancouver Olympics that ended a 62-year drought at the time. And four years later in Sochi, he won bronze in both the two-man and four-man events. Holcomb was a giant in the sport, but small on words. If you walked past him, you would have no idea he was a three-time Olympic medalist and world champion and all kinds of different stuff. Filling those shoes will never happen. We'll never ever fill those shoes, but we're gonna try to go and, and honor that position. And that's kind of all we can do as a team right now. He's definitely with us. And um, yeah, we're definitely gonna do, try to do as much as we can to honor him this season, whether it's, you know, having moments of silence, you know, sticker decals on the sleds, helmets, you know, anything we can do, you know, we, we, we all know Steve's with us. Holcomb's personal life was complex. He battled depression, triggered by a disease that nearly blinded him in his 20s, his dark days documented in his autobiography. But a surgery saved his vision and his career. Pyeongchang would have been Holcomb's last shot at Olympic gold. He was planning on retiring after the 2019 World Cup season. He's left a big impression on the sport and his teammates too. I know how much this sport meant to him and I know how much you know, he wanted to go on to Pyeongchang and, and try to win that medal, and, and the least we can do is give it all we got and try to move forward from this. Holcomb drove the Team USA, the USA won bobsled for over a decade. Now Cody Baskew takes over as the top driver on the men's team. And guys, on one of the sleds, there is a guy from Gresham. His name is Sam Michener. And of course, I'll be meeting up with him over in South Korea. You can see all of them compete and see how they hopefully end up on the medals podium in bobsled starting on February 8th right here on KGW.